Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Ren. I got a video today from Shusi Zed. You know, Kevin Samuels, the godfather, made a huge impact on my life. I learned so much from him. Yes, I do understand that he is a black African-American creator that's made more for a black African-American community. But what he spoke about and the things that he was his content was going through was what I was going through. You know, and the things he said and when he passed, so many haters out there just trashed him. And now it's been over a year, a little over a year now, and everything has come to fruition. Winter has came and it is cold. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And let's get to that chow. Chow time. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Kevin Samuels, you know, the one thing I forgot to ask you when I was on your platform is where's your wife? Where is the woman that you are married to that can prove your thought process on what it takes to have a successful black family actually works because you have one yourself? I didn't support it at all. Okay. I thought it was divisive. I thought it was very Eurocentric in his approach to criticism. You know, some of y'all like what Kevin had to say. It's crazy that he said Eurocentric in his criticism. Do you know in Asian culture, criticism is way worse. Like me, when I visit my aunts, they'll straight up call me fat as soon as they see me with a little belly. They'll straight up say, oh, you look fucking all messed up. You look at all this. Any person that is slightly overweight will get told, doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man, all of them will say, you need to start losing weight, you're getting fat. Or they'll straight up say, oh my god, you're so fucking fat right now. Straight to your fucking face. And this is love. Why they care enough to tell you straight in your face that you should probably fix that. You know, that's true love. Where what Kevin Samuel was doing to the women that he came under, he told them straight to their face what they needed to fix and what they were doing wrong. How is that not true love? You know, he, yes, he went in about it slightly mean here and there, but it's because these women weren't listening. How could you tell someone that's not listening unless you go a little bit harsher? Say, some of y'all don't. I'm not here to judge that. It's your choice. He had over a million subscribers because there are millions of men who don't feel heard, who don't feel listened to, who don't feel respected. But at the same time, I think that men. You know, we got to start listening to women, man. We 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 got some men out here that just really, um, unfortunately, somebody screwed your head on backward. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date If he bus? owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. No. I just realized when she said, if he owns the bus, like, as if she is so high class to where, you know, a, a man's job as a bus driver and him owning the bus really mattered that much. Like you're a woman like he's a man why does the like the career the status matter so much to these people nowadays if i would like i i'm not I, there's many movie stars that marry average normal people that aren't movie stars there's a lot of that yes there's movie stars that you know date each other is what we see in the tabloids and stuff all the time but what we don't see is you know, these movie stars marrying normal people with normal status lives because they don't care. Why? Because these are good people, the people that they want to be with. Like, why does the bus matter? That's a problem. That's a problem. But then I realized you're not even married. Not only are you not married, you have been married twice, divorced twice. Now, am I saying that there aren't women who have unrealistic expectations? No, you guys know I've done videos. I've done videos. There's women who have ridiculous expectations. But do we have to talk to them that way? No. Why? You got your masculinity from the internet. That's crazy to me. So we have crazy people. Do we have to fix or help these crazy people and tell them that they're crazy? Probably. You might need to save, you know, do something about this instead of just letting them be crazy. Why? Because it hurts society in the long run. Internet, because maybe you didn't have a daddy. Uh, maybe you hate single mothers because your father wouldn't, didn't spend time with you. Hmm. I think his expectations for women 
were very superficial in terms of what was important. So therefore, you mean to tell me you know all that it takes to have a successful marriage, but it didn't even work in your own life. Interesting. There was a heavy... Oh, Kendra G. How far she has came from, from that clip. Focus on how much you make and how good you look. Healthy, well-balanced, strong, happy men do not feel the need to degrade women, do not feel the need to talk down to women, do not feel the happy, strong, well-balanced men do not talk to women like this. No woman is gonna look good forever. Black women are availing ourselves to all of the options that our hard work and circumstances currently afford us. And that means that single motherhood by choice is going to be an option that more and more black women consider and even exercise. So anybody that's in their feelings about that can go ahead and start to process right now. You have a right to say, I don't want to date a single mom. But when you're marketing that and using that as an avenue to express vitriol amongst millions of single mothers out here, some of whom help raise your raggedy <laughs> like that mama was your last line of defense between you and you being a little, little damn male hooker. It's not. What does that matter? Yes. So even if men were raised by single mothers, they seen how they were raised. They've seen what's going on. They have seen the life they lived. Why would they want to put that on themselves and be with someone that has like is like that? This is the problem where I see a lot of their comments come from like single motherhood. Yes, you're right. The, the, the African-American black community has a lot of it. So when these men that were raised by these women grow up and say, you know what? I don't want to deal with these type of women. I saw how my mother was. That's learning through experience. That's through their own personal experience that they've realized, ah, this might be a tough cookie to deal with when they're single mothers always what you say is how you say it guess what your average i fucking hate the how you say it thing i agree with it and disagree with it i disagree with it that men have to tailor their speech to women that i disagree with i do agree that you have to tailor your speech to certain scenes or like moments in life like if you're in business yes you have to tailor your speech a certain way when you're at a wedding or whatever yes you probably shouldn't do certain things but when you're talking to a person and you have to critique your speech because it might offend you that's a problem to me good guy that wants to just a good woman to love he is not sitting on social media bashing people he don't have time for it. He too busy living his life, working hard, taking care of his responsibility. Another question I felt to ask is, where are your children? Are you a father? Do you suffer from... I think it's funny how she remembered all these questions after the interview and then, you know, does a whole little radio show of asking these interview questions where he can't even answer or defend himself. Sad. Erectile dysfunction? Telling women that you are too fat or too small or too broke and that's the reason why you don't have a man that is psychopathological and it is destructive to our community. I Shut up, because women in all communities tell, I ain't going to date a man because he's short, because he's this, because he's that all the fucking time. And men just take it. For some reason, women have get upset when we, you know, tell them our preferences. Yes, to some men, you might be too skinny. To some men, you might be too short. To some men, you might be too big. To some men, your chest is too small. Guess what? It's these men's preferences. Who cares? If you don't fit in those preferences, move the fuck on. There's no need for you to keep, you know, pushing these movements, slut shaming movements and body positivity movements to try to change men's preferences because it ain't going to change. Men have always liked boobs, ass, and a pretty face those are the main things that attract us if you like nothing can change about that really most people are just attracted to those things i did not agree with his approach at all but i'm gonna say something i'm gonna say it real loud and clear god ain't 
in it. You actually owe every single black woman a thank you card because you're nothing without us. Let me say that clearly. Kevin Samuels, you are nothing without the black woman because your popularity is based off of tearing down black women. And the fact that he did have a lot of people who did speaks to how decadent and speaks to how self-hating we can be as Damn, just watching Umar's old clips like this just makes me really like the people. Without your mama, you would be dead, Negro. Can't you just express your own wishes without using that as a weapon to make people feel bad about a situation that they probably already feel bad about? Well, frankly, it's a whole new world. A world in which black women are no longer subject to the desperation of being chose because now we get to do the choosing. Several months later. The reality that needs to be said out loud oh, is that as black men age, their desirability increases. Thus their optionality of women is always expanding. And the exact opposite is true for black women. Mm -hmm. Guys, I want you to get your notebooks, pens, something, you know, pull your phone out, take notes because she's about to inform us of some mind blowing data and chances are you've never heard this before in your life. Okay, so every night I might get a hundred single women. Really? Guys, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I, I know, man. I know a few of you guys are like, please, Chisha, not one of these videos. Take it seriously. I can't. Around all through your 20s. Stop around all through your 30s. You give your 20s. To the street negroes okay you give your 30s to the pretty boys they use you up dog you out now you're in your 40s damn and nobody's jumping to marry you but if you're average sure. and you're not drop dead gorgeous i've said it before what's drop dead gorgeous face and body that's not very nice where is the love she wasn't it never encourage black women to settle the fact that black well, let me let me let me just the, okay. Please, can I finish my statement? Just no, you can't. Statement. Let me no no. Now you gonna listen. Gotcha. Now, uh -oh. you, gonna gotcha. Listen. now you gonna listen. Right. I listen right. to you. So now you gonna listen. Right. It's let me heated. know. It's giving no, pick me. It's, it's giving not, pick me. If you're not drop dead gorgeous, and you're looking at other people and comparing situations to drop dead gorgeous women who got men tolerating their BS. But they all think they're tens. They all think they're tens. They all think that they're. They do. They would be mad at her for this. So, degree. All right, one story. I was dating uh, a woman, and I was okay, doing okay. I actually broke up with her and then got back together with her like a month later because I wasn't feeling certain things. Oh, you know what? I was seeing someone else at the time, and I felt bad. So I ended that relationship and then dated that other person, and then I hit her back up because it didn't work out. And we were talking and then I told her straight up that I didn't think she was a 10. And she was livid. And I was just, she was like, you don't think I'm a 10? Then what do you think I am? I'm like, you're average, you're a five. Like, but I like you, you know? Like, I don't really care to have a 10 or a nine or eight. And she, blew up and ended it right there. I thought it was kind of funny that um, that happened, but it was probably like a bad thing to probably rate her right in front of her <laughs> like that too. But whatever, I'm gonna tell her the truth. And uh, yeah, so I gave her a five and she was completely devastated by that. She was just like, you think I'm not attractive? I'm like, when did I say that? I just said you were a five, you're average looking. You know, like if you lost some weight, I did say this, yes, you would be like a six or a seven. Like she was slightly overweight. And, and it wasn't a bad overweight. She still looked very cute, very good with her size, right? And she was just like, you know what? I don't want to be with you anymore because you don't think I'm a 10. And I was just like, oh, okay. So yeah, women want men to think that they're 10s. That's also their thought process. That if you're with me, you must think I'm a 10 because you're with me or else you could be with somebody else. Yes, in a sense, I am with you. Yes, 
there are other options, but I like you for your personality and some other traits that you have. Yes, you might not be a 10, but I still like you. This is where women are like, no, I have to be a 10 in your eyes. And no, you don't. And most women are never, are, are, will never be 10s in most men's eyes. So and titles and cars and houses and money. I had two clients, a doctor and a lawyer back when I was matchmaking. Couldn't beg, borrow, or steal a man. It's giving pick me, and you do this to every <laughs> black woman that comes on here. But and you want you myself, honey? But you're at me. four o'clock in the morning. I love differing opinions. Right I love differing myself, opinions. So but it's giving pick me, Kendra. Love difference of opinions, but won't shut the fuck up to let Kendra talk. Just because you, feel you don't that have way, high why are you up with Kendra doesn't mean that you can't have high If standards you feel for that them. way. And so now you're saying it ain't no good black men. No, no, no. There's plenty of good black men. The nice. problem is you gave your best years to men who didn't deserve it. You are the common denominator in your life. You may not be the type of women, woman that men want to marry. As we age, doesn't matter how much money we There's preferences for men. Shocker. Accumulate our degrees or professional accolades. The reality is that our marriage and partnership market value is depreciating with every passing year. Constantly got an ego, projection, high standards, demanding, picky, never happy, constantly high maintenance everything's a problem i would argue again and say that this is not a small sect of women these this is met most women and i don't agree with sushi don't mean just black women western women drink the coffee it'll make it modern better. women who are looking for a relationship most of these women want committed relationships out of those hundred women i may get 10 10 men so let's just start right there. If I have a hundred single women right. and ten men might have been married once, but listen, as they've gotten older and it gets worse and worse and worse, the attitudes get worse and worse, the entitlement, the hyper independence, everybody else is the issues, never looking at self, and this is what I want to be clear about. Every woman is not going to get a man. Right. Just from that right there, okay? There's not enough. Right. Now, out of the 100 women, let's say, out of those 10 men, there's only really two men that the 100 women really want to date. The problem is, you gave your best... Kendra's G's show is like tender on steroids. Two men versus 100 women. That's pretty much the dating market and tender. A hundred women are going after two sets of men. <laughs> years to men who didn't deserve it. And now you see your biological clock is ticking. Hmm. You may not be the type of woman that men want to marry. If you don't have men trying to, when they date you and do get a chance to know you and they don't want to marry you, they don't want to be with you. You might be the problem. No matter how good we look, no matter how fit we are, mm. men are still seeing primarily our presumed dwindling fertility as a knock against us. And speaking of fertility, that is another reason that I want younger black women to seek marriage and partnership in college or right after, if that's what they choose. And your beauty clock. See, you got a biological... You know, uh, I'll, even people in my comment section, like, talk some s about the godfather saying that you know like oh he wasn't the best or whatever it is who is who the fuck is like this is the problem i have with some people because i like someone because i respect someone doesn't mean i like and respect everything that that man did i love my father i respect my father he cheated on my mother do I respect him for that? Fuck no. But I still respect him as a father and still respect him as, you know, I still love him because he's my father. This is the problem I have with some of the people out there. Just because you don't like someone or you disagree with someone doesn't mean you can't take what they say and learn from it. When I first met KS and, you know, watched his con, I actually thought he was an asshole. I was like, damn, this motherfucker is fucking harsh. But as I kept watching everything and just seeing the replies that these women would reply to him with and just seeing how these women act, 
I fully understood it. I fully understood why he had to be so callous with his speech and so, you know, cutthroat in a sense. <clears throat> and some people might not like it. Some people like it. It's okay. Like to wish or to like celebrate a man's death in that kind of way. I mean, to celebrate a man's death, like you know, his like his life kind of thing, is different than how most women were celebrating his death. And it's crazy to me that yeah, as a society, we're okay with, you know, being excited that someone died for whatever reason it is, except unless they were like straight up murderers or something, then I guess I can see that. But we get so happy when people die or get canceled that we dislike or, you know, disagree with. That's where our society's going. As soon as there's disagreements, we want to get rid of someone. We want to freaking, you know, praise that they're gone. Society becomes just one idea, one thought process then. And then everybody that doesn't get to that thought process, he has to get the fuck out or die. Like, come on. Go clock. How long you can have those babies and you got a beauty clock. How long you gonna be looking good. Okay, wow. so now we have a hundred women uh -huh. with two men uh -huh. right there. Every woman is not gonna get a man. Hey, but those men are gonna get hella cheeks, yo. But I'm saying to the women who tend to be nasty, mean-spirited. I saw it in my matchmaking, and I looked at these women, and I got a totally different perspective and that's not just black women there are many women white black latina women on instagram dis boys watkins when pandering goes wrong confession when i was 46 this is boys talking 46 years old single millionaire with a phd boys watkins wants you to know he's a phd <laughs> If you know, you know, man. Let's keep reading. He goes on to say, I could have had nearly any woman I wanted. I chose to marry a woman in her 40s because I didn't want to marry an idiot or a child, he says. Strategic men don't just pick women based off what they look like. So modern women did what they do best. They turned on him for speaking the truth. I love when panderers get fucking uh, the tables flipped on them by their own, uh, what you call it, uh, audience. Like this female commenter says, no, he couldn't have had any woman he wanted. You did the best you could do, old ninja. <laughs> Here's another comment from another woman that says the delusional statement saying he could have had any woman he wanted is comedy. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! And another person here, a woman chimed in and said, I had to read that several times to be sure I read correctly. <laughs> the other chick responded back and says, yeah, he definitely leads with his money if that's what he believes. It's true. A biological clock? Money How is long are you going to have them babies? And a beauty clock? How long are you going to be looking good? And guess what? When you hit those 40s, don't get me wrong, black don't crack. But everybody's the, everybody declines. Mm. Woo. A young black woman in college. And you know in your heart and in your head that you want to prioritize family. I suggest that you simultaneously pursue that MRS degree right along with that BA or JD. Because the handful of black college age men that actually do desire to get married soon and they do share that value system and family is a priority for them too. Y'all, that is an incredibly small pool and it's shrinking as you get older. And by the time you reach my age, 40, you will be faced with... Damn! Damn. I'm sorry. Different choices relating to life partnership and motherhood. Now, I'm not saying that delaying marriage or motherhood is a bad option, but it's one that comes with its own consequences. And <gasps> our women consequences? deserve to know on the front end of their decision making instead of on the back half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Rest in peace, Godfather. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> Are you kidding?
Just your YouTube listen real quick. It's time to talk about the sponsor of today's video. And it could be you. Hear me out. If you enjoy the content produced here, to mug for random store in the. Ooh, that was some good chow. You know, it's nice to see the Godfather's work really shine through even a year and a half after his passing. It's been a while now, and winter has came, and everybody's seeing how cold it is. You know, everybody's starting to change tunes because they're left out in the cold. You know, I've always praised the man ever since I made this channel. My first few episodes was featuring the Godfather himself, and I really miss him. Like, I... Like, I would have really loved to be able to make content with the Godfather. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.